Hey, this is Jamie with Formidable Fabrications on site, on location, somewhere different. So I got a burning question that everyone probably wants the answer to is how do they deliver dumpsters? So here's my buddy's dumpster yard. And this is how they drop dumpsters when you buy brand new cans. They stack them in. So there's actually three, it's one, two, three all stacked in each other so our job today is to pull them apart unstack them and put the doors on them okay so right now my buddy is in the dumpster truck he's picking up the dumpsters on the front so we can try and pull these dumpsters out the back with a chain. So they have rubber pads underneath them so they slide kind of easy. But since they had been sitting out for a week or two, there was a ton of water on top that we uh, had to get off before I pulled too much out or else I'd probably get splashed all with water. So and at this point, we're just trying to figure out how to get them out exactly. Uh, the biggest problem we had with the last set that we pulled out was the hinges, which are right in front of the bucket, are a thick piece of metal that sticks out. And last time we pulled them out, the force of them hitting the ground actually bent the hinges in a little bit. And with it being such thick steel, it was really hard to bend them straight out again. So we're really just trying to pull these out really gently. So when they hit the ground, they don't smash and, and bend the hinges in like they did last time. So that part is done. So the dumpster that you're looking at is the bottom of one of them. So we have to go around to the other side to pull the other one out from inside of the one you're looking at. So we wrap a chain around one of the uh, supports and we just flip it over. Unfortunately, I didn't get to record the sound, but it is a de uh, deafening sound when it hits the ground. So when we pull these, we have to pull them really slow. Uh, we found out the hard way that if you pull them too fast, they'll actually keep rolling and roll themselves back over towards you. Which is uh, quite, the, quite the feat. So now we're sliding the doors out. So all three doors come inside one of the dumpsters. So you have to slide the doors out, hook a chain to them, and then swing them around and gently position them. So the doors are pretty heavy, and we have to be careful because if we move too fast with the machine, then they actually swing really fast. And being so heavy, they're kind of hard to control. So uh, it seems like a simple task, but in reality we have to everything we have to do on these are slow because everything is so heavy that if it moves too much you can't really stop it and a you don't want to hit the machine and b you don't want to hit in something you know nearby because it's out of control so i work the machine and he gets everything lined up so it's just a matter of getting the hinges lined up properly I'm sorry for all the noise. They 
keep running airplanes right across the top of my house because I'm close to an international airport. So you couldn't see before, but I'm just slightly moving the bucket up and down and moving it all around to get these hinge pins lined up. So this dumpster that we're looking at now, we actually had a bent hinge on the bottom. So you'll see us in a few minutes here, taking a sledgehammer to the bottom hinge to, to smack it, try and get it back into place a little bit. It was only off by a quarter of an inch, but it was enough where we couldn't get the hinge pin in. So you see the top two went down pretty easy. And uh, that bottom one was just giving us a, a hassle. So my buddy was kept telling me to move the dump, move the door back and forth, and I kept moving it, and I was like, dude, you're just going to have to get a sledgehammer and, and just smack it one good time. Nope, sorry. After watching the video here, it's actually the middle hinge that got busted, or that got bent, sorry, not the bottom one. Yeah, it was the bottom tab on the middle hinge. Just got bent in a little bit. So it was funny because he's sitting there with the sledgehammer, just kind of like hitting it gently. And I was like, give me the sledgehammer. I was like, we just need to smack it one good time. So he didn't want to smack it. He didn't want to bend the hinge itself any more than it was that he was insistent on uh, us trying to just get the pin to go in but I finally gave up and said move I'm just gonna hit it with the sledgehammer one good time and just knock it into place and then it was done <laughs> 